Hi everybody, yes, this is not a spring chicken. As you can tell, the weather's changed just a little bit. Okay, so you saw us out at the beach before. We're well, supposed to be out at the beach right now. We're supposed to be there today, except the cold weather started coming in early and it is not warm enough enough to be running around the beach, which is actually where I'd much rather be. Um, although, I'm all bundled up here so I can go ahead and stay warm. <laughs> I know, crazy. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they're all saying. They're saying, well, the Republicans are a fractured party. Well, no, they're not a fractured party. They are becoming two parties. The, the people that basically support the, the bigger government are going to be one party and then the other is going to be, then the rest of the people who don't support the bigger government are going to be the, uh, a new party. And it looks like for the first time ever there's going to be a substantial third party in this nation and a third party will decide who's going to be president of the United States. It won't be the Republicans, it won't be the Democrats, it's going to be the third party of independents and, Ma and, um, and conservative Democrats and the Tea Party people that are fed up with, they elect people to office and then they say F you to them. Right now it looks like Boyner's going to lose his seat in the House and McConnell's going to lose his seat in the Senate because just a few minutes ago Boehner explained, well we're now going to, we're, we, we have to have a comprehensive effort to get these people as citizens. Which means they're rewarding people for misconduct which basically is not going to go over well with it, uh, they said that over 50% of the country said they're here, you can't toss them out, but they're not going to reward them for breaking the laws. But the leadership in both parties wants to do that. And no one takes this president serious when he says he will rule this nation like a king. Well, they're taking him serious today as he's deciding to do, um, he's going to, by executive order, he's going to kill the Keystone Pipeline by executive order. He's going to legalize the immigrants by executive order. He's going to raise minimum wage. Just a series of things he's going to do, which they said yesterday, you know, okay, I, I, I've thought of Bill O'Reilly as a butt-kissing liberal Democrat, no matter what he says, but uh, I, last night I thought Brett Hume was a little bit brighter than O'Reilly, and he said, well, it's, they, they, there's nothing that they can do. Well, let's see, um, I think it was Dick Morris, who they all laughed at, said, yeah, there's a lot you can do, because he could, these things, you have to get a court to basically stay his executive orders until they can be heard by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And they control the lower court system now because the Republicans, mainly McConnell, did not step up to him and say, you can't take the filibuster away. Mm -hmm. They should have made a fuss and just simply done nothing. What happened was they should have just simply walked off all the, for all the Republicans because their votes are totally irrelevant now because they will do anything they choose to do by executive order and 51 votes. And gay marriage caused floods, counselors suspended in Britain. Oh well, yeah, they, okay, it's a, basically the, um, the Church of England does not believe in gay marriage and um, they're having problems. They're, try, they're not counseling the gay people, they're counseling everybody else. What? You, know, you have to accept it whether you like it or not. And the guy said, we have religious freedom in this country. We don't have to accept something that is against our religious viewpoints. But uh, what happens is you have leaders in some of the countries like uh, uh, Canada is not Canada is not accepting it, but Great Britain and Australia they're basically throwing people out of office in Australia. They're trying to force why they're trying to force gay marriage on okay. Basically, if they want civil unions, that nobody has a problem with civil unions. It's basically it's the telling, word marriage. It's telling the, it's the word marriage because they've decided that. Uh, what, the, what all the, okay, there is not a religious doctrine in the world that approves of, of, of the gay lifestyle. They all disapprove of it. But they will, you know, uh, I'm going to put it this way. I knew a guy that for 50 years, everyone in the world, he acts, I mean, he looks like he's gay when he's on the screen. Mm -hmm. And he's really gay. He was a baseball coach. They decided, the gay rights movement decided that, well, he has to, to uh, make certain that everybody knows he's gay, so they told everybody he's gay and then started condemning him because he wouldn't tell everybody he was gay even though everybody knew it. Um, basically the same people that he coached the baseball team for for his entire life bounced him from his, his little league coaching job because they couldn't have one of these people. See, it, what happens is 
He was happy. Everybody knew he was gay. It wasn't causing a problem. Then the gay rights movement decided to make a big deal out of it, and that ended it. And gay marriages held before the Grammys may not be legal. That's right, because uh, they said uh, that Queen Lef Queen Lafitte and Latifah. Uh, Latifah and Madonna presided over them, but they didn't have any marriage licenses, folks. They just married them. Well. You have to have a yeah, marriage yeah. license to be married, and they had they what they decided to do was to give. Okay, what happened was the first people in the Grammys were the country people. They decided to you know up yours country people, so they decided to make them stand outside while they were presiding on a, on, a, on gay marriage. Mm -hmm. Which basically here's the trick is they 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 toned down the costume to get the general mainstream audience back. They toned down most of the acts to get the mainstream people back. So what did they do? They held a gay. They they had the whole thing was if you know if you were gay or anti government, you won awards. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh God, they got. I know people in the country business that are so pissed off about. They're thinking about splitting the splitting off from the Grammys now because of what they, they said it was considered a direct. And it was a complete and absolute insult. To, I mean, the net. Okay, instead of increasing the the Grammys, basically didn't increase its coverage by one bit, and they figure this will cost them next year massively. And Obamacare is worth it, no matter the political consequences. I know. They know, they, they absolutely know they're going to lose the Senate now. All the, uh, when the New York Times has now said it looks because the, they've tried to cram one too many things down people's throats in this nation, it will cost them the Senate. They also said that 80% of the people in this nation will be worse off because of Obamacare than they were before it. 80% now. And um, mm -hmm. there will be 10 million people more uninsured than were uninsured before because of Obamacare. And resurgent Afghanistan drug trade threatening U.S. goals, Pentagon warns. No, it doesn't threaten the goals because the President of the United States is going to make money, drug money laundering legal. And he said, well, no, it's only going to be for people that are growing, you know, growing marijuana and stuff. Okay, how much money did I actually sell in marijuana? I think I sold about a buck fifty in marijuana. How much did I declare? Oh, 175 million dollars. Mm -hmm. Guess where that money came from? Mm -hmm. And the farm bill would cut food stamps by one percent. Oh yeah, one percent, which basically, first of all, it's not going to cut anything because they're going to Democrats to put it right back in another spot of the budget. So mm -hmm. they got Republicans basically caved in to the Democrats again. They said, you know, they, they said ridiculous. They said that 50% of the people on food stamps aren't entitled to food stamps according to the rules. And Ukraine's unlikely protest firebrand offered PM Post. Yeah, they're, um, he's not going to take it. The, Ukraine is getting ready to fall, and my guess is the Soviets are going to send the tanks in. It's just a matter of time. He's wanting to wait till after the Olympics, but this morning, this little while ago, the prime minister of the country resigned, and the parliament is uh, removed all of the rules, basically. They, uh, okay, Ukraine was going to become part of the European Union and separate itself from the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. The guy that was elected dubiously and his parliament, which was elected dubiously as their Soviet elections, basically uh, canceled the joining of the, of, the, of the thing and then took out huge loans for the Soviet Union so that they would be obligated to pay those loans back. The problem mm -hmm. is that None of the money was ever allowed into the country because the people stopped it all. So mm -hmm. they don't want to be part of the Soviet bloc. But he will. The, the tanks will start rolling soon because Obama will probably be on the top. You know, you know. He said, "Well, as long as your people aren't actually going to hurt anybody, you can take over the country again." Yeah. Oh, great! Yeah. And Obama to allow the laundering of drug money in the U.S. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just. Um, um, there, okay. The way it works is the Obama doesn't give a rat's ass how, where the money comes from as long as taxes are paid on it. I mean, the for instance, oh, I've got I've, I've, we've got a sex trade going on. We can't put the money in a bank, but we can certainly. Okay, you made seventy five cents on the drug trade. Oh, I just think you made two billion dollars this last year. They said, but there's not two billion dollars worth of marijuana in the state of Colorado. It doesn't make any difference to president. It says that you can put the drug money in the banking system. Oh, really? Yeah, it's how they launder the money, folks. It's just yeah. it's a really brilliant way. It's just, uh, they used to do that. Alcohol was illegal. So what they do is they'd, um, they cigarettes weren't illegal. That's hence the name cigarette boats. They bring the uh. stuff in on a cigarette boat. 
declare the cigarettes and pay the t taxes on the cigarettes and that's how you got lots of booze in the country. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and a Monty bubbleism from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, never believe that someone can't do what they are getting ready to do.